Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Friday, August 6th, and today we celebrate in the church the Feast of the Transfiguration, where Jesus goes up the mountain uh, with Peter and Andrew and, no, Peter and James and John, um, and is transfigured before them, and he speaks to Elijah and Moses. So friends, as we celebrate this great feast of the church, we begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the King of glory, exalted on high. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the King of glory, exalted on high. Oh, raise your eyes on high and see, there stands our sovereign Lord. His glory is this day revealed. His word a two-edged sword. We glimpse the splendor and the power Of him who conquered death, The Christ in whom the universe Knows God's creating breath. Today the Lord Jesus Christ shone with splendor on the mountain, his face like the sun, his clothes white as snow. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today the Lord Jesus Christ shone with splendor on the mountain, his face like the sun, and his clothes white as snow. Today the Lord was transfigured, and the voice of the Father bore witness to him. Moses and Elijah appeared with him in glory and spoke with him about the death he was to undergo. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. 
Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Today the Lord was transfigured, and the voice of the Father bore witness to him. Moses and Elijah appeared with him in glory and spoke with him about the death he was to undergo. The law was given through Moses and prophecy through Elijah. Radiant in the divine majesty, they were seen speaking with the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker, let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The law was given through Moses, and prophecy through Elijah. Radiant in the divine majesty, they were seen speaking with the Lord. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel carried me away in spirit to the top of a very high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. The city had no need of sun or moon, for the glory of God gave it light, and its lamp was the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With glory and honor, Lord, you have crowned him. With glory and honor, Lord, you have crowned him. You set him over the works of your hands. Lord, you have crowned him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With glory and honor, Lord, you have crowned him. A voice spoke from the crowd, from the cloud. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Ooh, excuse me. To set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight. 
all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A voice spoke from the cloud. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. In the presence of his disciples, our Savior is wonderfully transfigured on Mount Tabor. Let us pray to him with confidence. Lord, in your light may we see light. Father of mercies, you glorified your heavenly Son and revealed yourself in the bright cloud. Grant that we may listen in faith to the word of Christ. Lord, in your light may we see light. O God, you have filled your chosen people with the bounty of your house. Grant that we may always find the source of our life in the body of Christ. Lord, in your light may we see light. O God, you have scattered the darkness with your light and have poured your light into our hearts so that we might look upon the radiant face of Jesus Christ. Nourish in us the desire to contemplate your beloved Son. Lord, in your light may we see light. O God, according to your plan, you have called us to holiness by your grace, which you have revealed in Jesus Christ. Through your gospel, show to all mankind the glorious splendor of unending life. Lord, in your light may we see light. Loving Father, you have so loved us that we have been called to be the sons of God. When Christ comes, grant that we may be like him. Lord, in your light may we see light. Gathering these prayers, calling to mind our own intentions, remembering all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We lift up our voices using those sacred words that Jesus himself taught to us. And together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, our Father, in, tra in the transfigured glory of Christ your Son, you strengthened our faith by confirming the witness of your prophets, and show us the splendor of your beloved sons and daughters. As we listen to the voice of your Son, help us to become heirs to eternal life with him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Again, friends, as we celebrate this great feast day of the transfiguration of the Lord, hearing those words ourselves, the words that were spoke about Jesus to his disciples who were there, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Our heart should be stirred and fired um, to listen to the voice of Jesus Christ, to hear him anew as we ponder the scriptures and the holy word of God. Friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, that the Father would be well pleased in each of us, his sons and his daughters, to live that life of holiness, to be holy as our Father is holy. Friends, May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.